But this young woman walked in to get approval or some paperwork. See? Mm-hmm. And uh, when she walked in, the door wasn't locked. So she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio. Puff and Tupac was like a couple, it seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was gay and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? It's just a lot of... I had to ring the doorbell. We had the presidential suite where we was at. Uh, the dude said, yo, I'm here for my cousin. He would puff, they're in the room, they busy, they don't want to be bothered. For decades now, music mogul and bad boy founder Diddy have left his fans and haters alike confused as to whether he's gay or not. The persistent rumors about his sexuality are not unfounded, as the rapper has been spotted several times acting weirdly around fellow artists. Recently, Puff came clean about his sexuality in Blood Orange's song called Hope. Near the end of the video, two guys were seen embracing each other while they were walking with a group of men. Diddy said, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid? Millions interpreted this as a come out of the closet song, and those allegations can definitely be matched by the several celebrities who claim Diddy has acted inappropriately around them in the past. So, who are some of these people, and what exactly happened? You won't believe who the third guy is? Watch till the end to find out. The first rapper who admitted to feeling uncomfortable around Diddy is Atlanta legend T.I. An Instagram live video of T.I. alongside a host of stars, Diddy included, went viral a few years ago. And it's easy to see why. The video both revived and added fuel to the theory that Diddy's fruity behavior while inebriated was nothing new. Celebrities who discuss Diddy now frequently recall his legendary 1990s parties, which helped cement his reputation as Hollywood's undisputed party king. If Puff was and still is a party animal, it's reasonable to believe that his problematic behavior stems from his inebriation. The incident seemingly left a bad taste in T.I.'s mouth, as it appears his relationship with Diddy has since dwindled. Back in 2021, T.I. responded to Diddy in a rant after the bad boy's boss said he'd only do a versus with Dr. Dre. So, when it get down to the versus conversation about, you know, Puff and JD or me and 50 and... It hit different, bro. It's like, oh, okay, what you think? Think? Oh, you think you can't? What? Bruh, what's up? What you trying to say? What you trying to say, bruh? Jack, are you from New York? You saying, Jack, are you from New York? Like, bruh, come on, man. We all getting money. We all having, you know what I mean? Everybody done did. They, they, and, and, that is, and, and for one, we can't ever get too mixed up in a conversation that's based on opinions. It's all based on opinions. After J. Rule and Fat Joe's versus battle took Madison Square Garden by storm, Jermaine Dupri challenged Diddy to a versus of their own. So when Diddy tweeted that Dr. Dre is the only person he'd do a versus with, T.I. couldn't help but chime in, further proving that the Atlanta native doesn't want anything to do with Diddy after their awkward video moment. So, when it gets down to the versus conversation about Puff and JD or me and 50, that shit just hit different. It's like, oh, okay, what you think, nigga? What you trying to say, T.I. said in the video. You saying just cause you from New York. Come on, spend. Ben, for the motherfucker saying, you can't see him, you're not on his level. Why? Cause you say so. What have you done? Who made you the judge and the jury? The end all be all. T.I. continued, but to say you can't even compete. Bro, there are 12 months in a year. If you had six months, he had six months too. Tip closed by saying that people need to stop sleeping on Atlanta and that there shouldn't be any discourse about any artist being too big to compete against an Atlanta legend. This all started when Dupree tweeted at Diddy that he was in the building for a versus battle and that Diddy would need some training if he wanted to go against him. Diddy swiftly responded by telling Dupree he ain't got enough hits and that Dre is the only one worthy of his competition. So yeah, it seems Jermaine Dupree, too, doesn't like Diddy that much. Aside from T.I., another rapper who has confessed to distancing himself from Diddy due to his sexual philandering is Maybach Music's boss, the boss of K.O. Ricky Ross. One and only is that the young legend. Is that my brother? Yes. Only Diddy in the motherfucking promised land. Y'all know it's going down, man. We talking big money, big moves. 
It's that 2022. Diddy recently revealed in one of his previous videos that Rick Ross is his main man. There seems to be a new rumor about Sean Combs every day. And the video isn't the only proof that Diddy likes to mess with Ross. Diddy and Rick Ross appear to be locking lips on stage in one photo, while Diddy is wearing a pink shirt and hugging another guy wearing pink in another. It's enough to make you say, yikes. There's been some footage circulating of Rick Ross and Diddy discussing his opulent mansion, and many people believe the two were about to lock lips before abruptly pulling away. Could it be that they didn't want their secret love affair to be known? Check out the video for yourself and make your own decision. The two rap legends have enjoyed a fruitful working relationship in the past, but after the visitation, they have since grown apart, especially after the internet roasting that Ross went through. Diddy was in Atlanta and stopped by the estate of Maybach music boss. Rozzy took the bad boy honcho on a guided tour showing off his classic vehicles, horses, toy collection, and more. The mansion, previously owned by Evander Holifield, has 450,000 square feet and 109 rooms. The property sits on over 300 acres, and Ross recently revealed that he charged a cool $2.75 million to let a Hollywood movie production use his estate for shooting. An impressed Diddy says in the video, I ain't gonna lie, niggas be talking like they be getting money and like they have taste, and they got style. Well, got downs. When God made this nigga here, woo woo. The boy coiled, the boy coiled, you gotta give it to him, man. Thank God, God made a rosé, somebody had to do it. A black man is doing this. Diddy and Ross also ride around the estate drinking champagne in a tricked out stretch golf cart, and the all about the Benjamins rapper then tells Rosé, I feel like I'm at Universal Studios. Yo, drive me around, man. I could get used to this. Diddy then jokingly reveals that he's buying the rich forever hitmaker giraffes and horses from here on out for gifts. In the clip, Ross then salutes Diddy for giving him some of that drive to chase his dreams even higher. When it comes to that, it's certain levels of motivation that can only come from certain individuals, proclaimed Ross. He's the originator, a lot of money. He could take 20 motherfuckers' lives and divide them, and they'd all be successful. They gone say that's Illuminati. Them niggas got too much money. But guess what? It felt good when a nigga said you so successful. They can't believe it. He's gotta be in the Illuminati. Yon nigga, God is great, and then hard work. Them have 20 hour shits. You can't overlook them. Seemingly, that was the last intimate session the two rappers shared. They haven't been spotted smooching again. Another male celebrity who outrightly displayed his discomfort around Diddy is comedian Kevin Hart. We uh, we um we want to thank you, comedian. Don't, don't don't sit on the bed tonight. No homo. No, just just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first of all, I'm not getting the Kevin Hart couldn't believe what he was hearing in one instance, and we can't blame him. Many people are perplexed by the scandalous details and wonder if there is more to the story than meets the eye. Diddy appears to be less interested in keeping his personal life private, as he openly commented on Kevin Hart's good looks during the live session. The two stars were reportedly at a wild, dirty money party together, and things got hot and heavy between them. Some fans believe Diddy's subtle advances toward Kevin are proof that the gay rumors are true. Despite the controversy, Diddy has not shied away from the spotlight and appears to be relishing his new role as a Hollywood bad boy. When the cameras started rolling, he called Kevin into the bathroom but quickly added a no homo disclaimer when the cameras started rolling. Diddy appears to have used the phrase no homo in a way that is unusual for the bro code, given his history of homosexual behavior. His tone of delivery seems suspicious, almost as if he wanted to say something but couldn't. In a separate video, Diddy goes even further, instructing Kevin to refer to him as if he were a baby. Diddy's self-assurance in his sexuality appears to be growing with each passing news report. This was demonstrated when he kissed Bronny James without his consent, eliciting an angry reaction from Kevin Hart. Kevin's reaction could have been motivated by jealousy for Diddy. This, however, is open to interpretation. Kevin even assaulted Diddy and advised him to work out and improve his physique. Are these two people heightening the sexual tension in the room? You make the call. And do you remember the incident where Diddy and Hart fought about sitting on the bed together? I mean, you can't make all this up. Diddy really does make those around him feel uncomfortable, and Kevin Hart openly showed it. And finally, the former heavyweight champion is another victim of Diddy's sexual harassment, despite his gigantic and scary physique. <laughs> People have begun to speculate that Diddy may have invited Mike Tyson into his bed after a recent video shared by Profit Muscle on YouTube revealed Mike Tyson and Diddy engaging in a very strange action. 
Even though Diddy and Mike Tyson have been friends for a long time, their relationship has always been different than in the video, and Diddy wasn't always fond of Mike's touch. According to fans, Mike was aware of the numerous sexual rumors about Diddy but still gave him the benefit of the doubt. While there has always been a desire to learn more about Mike Tyson's personal life, one of the most significant issues that have recently surfaced is Tyson's sexual orientation. Mike Tyson has been involved in a number of scandals over the years, ranging from chewing his opponent's ear off to drug abuse. There were rumors of Mike's sexual orientation orientation when he shouted at men that he would bleep them until they liked him, and he said it loudly and with a straight face. Most people were unconcerned about the event, but when he asked Boosie if he was gay or not, they began to question him again. In the mid-90s, Diddy and Tyson were close, but as the gay rumors grew louder and louder, the celebrated boxer decided to pull out of their friendship. To be fair, Diddy has never confirmed or denied any sexual misconduct allegations. It will be interesting to see if he comes out or prefers to keep everyone in the dark. Ever heard of the analogy, where there is smoke, there is fire? Well, Diddy's sexual orientation is definitely it. Too many cases for us to term it coincidence. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!